miss. Just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Get out of here. Yeah. Shit! Gotta check. Here they come! Gotta go. Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Oh, now we can go into the uh, door and just break open the lock. Go inside. We, we go inside. There you go. Walk over here and pow. <laughs> Come on, Lee. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Damn it. Well, it's gotta be able to uh Should be able to break open the lock at least. So let's go back and talk to Dig. What's up, Glenn? On go talk to Doug. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yeah, do. Let's have a look around. Okay. sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Need a distraction of some sort. Hmm. seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just... Doing my own thing. What about you? Doug, we need a distraction. I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh, friends? Family? They around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. That's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. How do we get out there? Oh, take brick. 
I can't even see that. Aha. There we go. Yeah, and that'll make me more sad. the time. Here we go. We finally figured it out. Gotta run over there. Go. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Find those keys. If you were there, you would have died for them. So, uh, yeah. Can't stop with all sympathy stuff. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did, you. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Quiet. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of them through all of it, that helped. Let's get in there. Yay. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Track the big posse. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glenn, we need your help. Lee, hurry. Hey, 
Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know! I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! What? Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! Oh, wait! That window is screwed! Go! I found something! Somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. You gotta kill that Larry guy. Oh my god, he's so evil. I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Did you trust the glove box? I swear I saw it. It's so... You never pay attention to where you need to. Yeah. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I... I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try.
And did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Yeah, can you just look over there? Everything at home would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, these are going to be important, and Kenny will lose them, so I'll put them right... Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, these are going to be important, and Kenny will lose them, so I'll put them right in this so awesome. And SPS then you had to go and look. Get that mingle really fast in the water. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go oh, deal shit. with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. It was so awesome. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh... Everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? And then this one time, Derek and Super Dinosaur... My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Evil music, something's about to happen. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. 
We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! No more, please! 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 <laughs> Honesty lied to Herschel. Sixty-three percent. 49% chose duck. That's so sad. 48% of players defended Kenny. Gave Irene the gun. Refused the gun. Uh, Doug or Carly chose Carly. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't choose Carly?